everyone, and it's the legendary I'm back here with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Hasbro Field Burst Turbo Unboxing. This is going to be for Scally Sex 4. And there's the B1 in front of the box. Now on the back, you can see the stats. It has 11 for attack, 5 for burst, 0 defense, 7 weight, 3 agility, and 0 stamina. It is an attack type and a rice spin. And it also has 3 for power and 3 for speed for the slingshot gimmick. And now, let's get into the unboxing. So, for the layer is. Breaker Excalius, I think. I know that the, the Takara Tommy one was called Buster Excalius and my Excalibur. It's called Buster Excalibur, but for Hasbro it's called Breaker Excalius. And for the gimmick, it basically has one sword in the middle, and Hasbro's first Turbo Beyblade to have metal is actually this one. So there's a little bit metal like right here on the sword instead of it being the whole sword. So the gimmick is that when you press down this part, it actually extends out the sword. So, you can use a disc. And then the sword kind of moves out a little bit. That's basically the gimmick. It's kind of underwhelming, but that's how it is. Just a little bit of a sword movement gimmick. And then, basically that's about it. It has the color scheme of red, translucent blue, a little bit of silver, a little bit of metal, and gold. And on the back there's a QR code if you want to scan it. And if you want to ever just push the sword back, there's that little bar right there. And you can just press it. And pressing the bar, then the sword goes back in place. Well, it should go back in place. Pushing far enough. Okay, there it is. You could basically just use a disc because if you don't have fingernails like me, then you won't be able to do it too well. So you can just use a disc to change it manually. But that's it for Bricker Excalius. Here's the one disc. This is the first time we've ever seen the one disc before. Well, this isn't really the one disc. This is one dash. So on Excalius X3, it actually came with the one disc, and this is the dash version of it, which is basically an upgrade of it. Made it better. One point is heavier than the other side, so it only has a lot more weight on one side to make it more powerful. And here's the driver, which is Sword Slingshot. So for Sword Slingshot, the Takara Tommy one had male swords on the sides, and then the male was male. But they were moded for a Slingshot gimmick, which is... It's already in Slingshot mode already, which kind of looks weird, honestly. But when you just push this little tab, then... The little nub comes out, and that's the regular mode for it, battering mode. Doesn't look too good, but that's sore for you. Brick Excalius. Brick Excalius. Okay, so for the slides, they don't really seem too tight, but they don't seem too loose, if that makes sense. So, I think this Beyblade might be kind of hard to burst. We're going to test it out here and see how it does. Let's do a test launch in the Colossus Stadium. And then I'm using the regular Golden Next Gallery launcher. 3, 2, 1, light. Okay, so... Kind of seems like it's a good attack, good attack type. 
Honestly, you can see the sword, and that looks pretty cool. You can see the sword while spinning, but besides that, it kind of just... has a nice amount of stamina, which is something that attack types normally don't have. And it seems like it'll be pretty good for attack too. I'm not going to switch them out right now, but... I'll just show off sling shock mode right now, well, for this Beyblade. Sling shock mode, 3, 2, 1, light around. This is also the first sling shock Beyblade to have 4 modes. Because Salamander was the first Beyblade to have 6. And there he is, Sling Shock Mode is just a little bit crazier, but not too crazy from what I can tell. Anyway, let's do a test spin, well let's do a test battle, and now I'll tell you my thoughts. For a test battle, I'm going to be doing it against Revive Phoenix, 10 Fusions, I mean, Friction Sling Shock. Battling Mode, 3, 2, 1, Light Rush! Okay, so round one, Revive Phoenix 1, now let's do another round with the sword, 3, 2, 1, let's run. Okay, so just like in, so just like in the Beelie Burst video, on the Beelie Burst official channel, Brick Excalius is actually able to burst the Vire Phoenix. Okay, so I have both the Beelies in Slung Shock mode, and let's get on to the test path. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! Almost, well, Sally almost got knocked out. Divine Phoenix wins round one. For round two is going to be in breaker mode. Three, two, one, light. Whoa! Divine Phoenix attack. Think it's may have won this one. And Sally goes down first. I think I'll just do one more battle to end it off. Three, two, one, light. Whoa! Doesn't look too good for Excalius. And I think it's over. Yep, it's over. Okay, so basically. Excalius wasn't able to win because of his slam shock gimmick being able to basically run out of stamina quicker than Phoenix. And he just doesn't have enough stamina. So the only thing about this bit was that it doesn't have a lot of stamina but it can attack really hard. But anyway, I recommend this bit if you're able to pick it up. It's kinda hard to find but and then when you find it, it's a good Beyblade to have. And plus, it's the first Sling Shock Beyblade to actually have metal. Anyway, like if you want, or if you want, and subscribe for Mouseness. Till next time, bye, and approve to be legendary.